Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Riri, and if you're new here, I'm an over 40 lover of all things beauty and indie brands. One of my favorite indie brands is Puzzle Culture Box. All right, beauties, before we dive into the Puzzle Culture Box, please don't forget to thumbs up the video. If you like what you see, it really does help me out. Don't forget to subscribe down below. If you have not yet, you know you want to, and tap that bell notification right there so that YouTube might notify you when I upload a video, which is typically Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. What is puzzle culture, you ask? This is a $34.99 quarterly subscription. It's also a very unique one that I really, really enjoy and love. You get one 1,000 piece puzzle that is curated by an indie artist. I think that is fantastic. Y'all know I'm all about my indie brands. And along with your puzzle, you'll get three to five kind of corresponding or themed kind of items that go with the theming of the puzzle. So of course this is our spring box and y'all know I do not get any spoilers which sucks because I want to be supportive of puzzle culture because she is amazing but I don't want to go to Instagram and check the feed because of course I want to be surprised. So we are going to dive on in. I first of all want to say I don't know that I've mentioned this before but I absolutely love the box. I think the box would be super cute to actually keep your you know, keeper puzzle in there or your puzzle culture items that you do get. Um, but I just, I think it's so cute. I love it. I love the personalization. I love that they always have an indie artist kind of doing the puzzles. I think that's super cool as well. Um, I am somebody that really loves puzzles. I have since I was a little girl. I remember fondly doing them with my parents. We would sit around at the table and we had a specific table for puzzles. So very exciting to me. So we're gonna open up the box and we're gonna dive in. Everything is always packaged beautifully which I love oh everything's so cute already you guys so I'll pull out our little pamphlets right here every box will have its own kind of special theming of course corresponding to that season how beautiful is this so the puzzle culture B as in buzz B E E B puzzle culture challenge is color story do your yellow flowers first, the purple flowers second, and then your greenery last. They always kind of do like a challenge, um, like do your border first, start from the inner part of the puzzle and work your way out, etc. How much of the king bee can you complete without mixing in without mixing in the purple? Um, and then it says to post your photos and things like that. We are not going to look at our deets just yet because I want to be surprised still. So right on top, this is the cutest freaking thing ever, y'all. The first thing that I see says IHR, um, I guess that's the brand, made with love in Germany, but it is cute little bumblebee little tissues. That is adorable. I'm going to keep that in my purse. Next up, I see a reusable silicone straw, dishwasher safe and sustainable, and it's by, I don't know if Spice is the name. Um, and it says silicone straw is dishwasher, freezer, and microwave safe. Drop in boiling water for two minutes to sterilize it. That's kind of cool. So that is what it looks like. It actually looks like a thick like Twizzler or something. <laughs> um, so that's what it looks like. That's super cool. I don't actually have one of these. I do have like some metal straws. So that's pretty neat. I will sterilize it and I will leave a comment and let you guys know how I enjoyed it. I don't typically like fat straws though. I'm not going to lie to you. But I think it's something that's super cool and I do like that it's eco-friendly and things like that. Next up is Sister Bee's Bee Food Wildflower Seed Blend. Locate a sunny spot, fill a pot three quarters with soil and compost, sprinkle your seeds in the soil and lightly cover, then gently press down and water daily. I think that's so cute. I like that everything's kind of gearing more towards like biodegradable, sustainable, things like that. So it's also a box with a purpose. I enjoy that greatly. Next up, I don't know what this is. This is reusable beeswax food wraps. They're biodegradable, natural, eco-friendly, and reusable. I've never in my life heard of these, so I'm not even going to pretend to know what they are. Um, so it says how to use honey bees wax wraps will feel slightly stiff and sticky at first. This is because the wraps are made from natural beeswax. Simply knead into a ball, use the heat from your hand to activate the wrap and form it around a dish or food. I am quite intrigued. If you have heard of these, please let me know. I'm going to do a little bit more research on this as well. That's super cool. Again, it has like this sustainable packaging and stuff. And then, our pièce de résistance, our puzzle which I think is stunning. It is bold, it's beautiful. And again, they're telling you to work with the yellow flowers and the purple and then go to the rest of the greenery in the puzzle. And again, it is a 1000 piece puzzle um, created or designed by an indie artist. I'm so excited by that. That is beautiful, y'all. 
Oh, okay. So let's read up our little deets again. And the little postcards typically match like the puzzle as well. So this season's theming is be kind. Um, and you get a 1000 piece puzzle. The bee king is the name and it's artwork by Mari Corona. Um, and I'll put this up close too, so you guys can see if you wanted a screenshot, I'm not sure if they have a social media or anything like that, but you could always check it out. Um, next up, we had our beeswax reusable food wraps, a set of three. I will 100% test these out. I'm going to do a little bit more research. Um, I'm a dummy when it comes to this. I've never heard of this, never knew this existed, but I'm quite intrigued. Then we had our bee food, our wildflower seed packets from Sister Bees. We have the Save the Bees, the print tissue pack from Boston International. Then we had our silicone reusable straw from Go Silly. Um, and of course, again, it says post your photos using the hashtags Puzzle Culture. And you can follow them on Instagram or on Facebook. So I will also get up close and personal with this. So very, very exciting. I love the theme of this box. Um, so often we see things that are kind of very specific to gender to whether or not you like beauty, makeup, things like that. This is something that literally anybody can use. Anybody of all ages can use. Um, even if your children are not necessarily old enough to build a thousand piece puzzle by themselves per se, um, you can sit together as a family, get around the table and they can help you. And it's just, it's so unique. It's so different. It's so fun. I love, love, love this box. You guys know I'm all about supporting indie brands and this is one of my favorites especially because it is so unique and so different to kind of the subscription box world, if you will. But that is it. Let me know what you guys think of the box. I love you so much. Stay happy, healthy, and safe, and be your own best beautiful. <laughs> Bye, beauties.